Hello, this is Dr. Joanne Manson, Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'd like to talk with you about a recent report in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that suggests that vitamin D supplementation has a promising role in protecting telomeres and slowing telomere shortening in the vital randomized trial over the four years of the intervention. Now, as you know, telomeres are specialized chromatin structures located at the end of chromosomes, and they play a role in maintaining the stability and the integrity of the chromosomes when cells divide. It's also known that people who have very short telomeres are more likely to have cells undergoing senescence and apoptosis, and they're also more likely to have aging-related conditions such as cardiovascular disease, cancer, and premature mortality. Now, we were interested in looking at vitamin D supplementation, its effect on telomere length. I want to acknowledge that I'm a co-author and a co-investigator on this study. Um, because we had seen that vitamin D supplementation in vital had an effect in reducing um, risks of selected aging-related diseases, um, and also because some prior research had been promising. So in vital, we saw that um, the vitamin D supplementation reduced the risk of advanced cancers, a fatal metastatic cancer, also autoimmune diseases, and uh, reduced some um, inflammatory biomarkers such as uh, C-reactive protein. We also um, saw in one of our colleagues in a separate study that also tested 2,000 IUs a day of vitamin D that um, the vitamin D boosted telomerase levels, which have a role in preserving uh, the uh, telomere length. But there hadn't been prior large-scale long-term um, studies of the effect of vitamin D supplementation on uh, preserving telomere length. Um, so we looked at this, and we had 1,071 participants in vital. Uh, in this study, the mean age was about 65. And the uh, participants had, um, the, most of them had the blood um, collections baseline two years and four years, and the telomere length measured using quantitative uh, PCR. And what we found was that vitamin D supplementation did in fact, uh, slow the telomere shortening in the placebo group. There was substantial shortening over the four years, and in the vitamin D uh, group, there was very minimal uh, shortening over that period of time. And the difference between the two groups, um, the trend uh, over, over the four years was a P of 0.037. In, in the difference between the two groups. And also we estimated that this difference amounted to decrease um, aging of about three years um, during this four year intervention based on other longitudinal studies that had looked at the amount of telomere loss with um, aging. So um, these findings were quite uh, promising, certainly need replication, would like to see this in other trials, would also like to look at whether vitamin D uh, supplementation can affect other biological pathways involved in aging, such as um, epigenetic aging and proteomic epigenetic clocks, proteomic uh, clocks. Um, however, these, these findings are promising that uh, vitamin D may have a role in countering uh, cellular aging and slowing at least one of the biological uh, pathways of, um, of aging that's been identified. Uh, for omega-3 supplementation, we did not see a significant effect um, of the intervention on uh, telomere length shortening. Thank you so much for your attention. This is Joanne Manson.